hi everyone welcome back in this laravel 5.6 video tutorial we are gonna learn uh, how to use the model in laravel so let's start so first of all i am going to write some steps what we are going to do so first of all we are going to make a model then uh, show the data from the database and we can use see that retrieve retrieve the data and update the data insert the data insert the data update and all all right so and for that uh, after the make model uh, we have to import it in controller that's it so we are going to follow these steps and we are easily uh, use the model so let's get started now mm. so let's open this this is uh, my user controller that i already made to save the time and this is my uh, router so i don't make any other route so you don't use them we don't need this one because these are uh, these are for other work so we have my uh, default route for this and it will show the show function here and the output is you can show here all right so now let's first of all just create a model so for that we have to use php artisan make model user and hit and so where it is made so it is made by default in the app and user so here this is the by default code from the command line so you can see that why i made the user the reason is my database tables name is users so it should be plural here and the model name it should be singular here so it will uh, automatically get the table name from the my database so we have to use first of all the configure the database if you don't know the how to configure you can watch the previous video i'm just going to overview here so this is my database name tiff this is my username this is my password here that's all and uh, this is obviously the local host here where you have to see that so these are the configurations in the uh, config folder in the database.php all right uh, that's it now i'm going to import my uh, user database into the my controller for that i have to use app user all right and to retrieve the data just write here echo and user scope pollution all and it will return the, all the data so first of all i have to start the php partition now it's start so you can see that we have three records here one two three and we got them in the json format all right that's good and now uh, the second step is uh, how we can insert the data so for that i'm going to make one more function uh, and this is insert we can use the name whatever you want to use all right and inside the insert uh, i need a variable whatever what variable you want to use and use here new user all right and uh, right here insert and just save the name all right and save the name whatever we want to save like 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 uh sam and the password uh, 
password could be same at the rate three two one. And now just you insert and just save and it will save your data. So for that I'm going to make a small form uh, for that. So we can get the post request for this. So we'll just come here and right here insert it should be post form and function name is also insert that's fine and now for that i need a uh, one view also so i'm going to copy the code from here so that we can save the time this is my small form and in the view just make a one more folder with the uh, insert dot blade oops insert dot dot php all right and just write the form here so here we have to put the uh, action name so it should be the insert it should be the post type and there is some one password one username and one csrf token which is required to uh, for security purpose it's going and that's all and now uh, I need open the view here so just write the view with the insert and what it will going to insert insert all right now I'm just right here insert in the URL and we can see that you can see that we have two forms here so you can put the data here and here and click on for login so I did not uh, getting the data from here from the form why because it will take some time just I'm just going to put the static data here so that's it so just right here all right empty object value uh, 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 uh. so let me check what's going on here Mm -mm. Uh, just give me a second I'll be back here yes guys I actually found the problem I have just a uh, misspell here uh, of the object of the new users so now it should be work fine so yes uh, one more thing uh, before uh, inserting it we have to use uh, the timestamp false because by default laravel asking for the timestamp because this is a created and updated date so we don't have the columns for this and many times the user don't need them so we are not creating them so that that's why we have to uh, put them put here uh, public dollar time stamps equal to false that's it and if uh, if you your user table and uh, your model name and table is not matched then you can also write here public table XYZ table sorry XYZ whatever your table name it should be like this one all right so now it should be insert so go to the form here I should want some more than like the nam name something I just insert here the name which is insured should be um, Sam and Sam at the rate three to one so let's see here so we got the data here so if you want uh, to one flag here then you can write a flag like this and now just write something more uh Deadpool <laughs> yeah this is a great movie actually I saw the second part just just some day ago all right so just right here so you you will get the one result here and let's see in the result we got the inserted result here so we got the two operations now let's see how we can update the 
uh, operation so let's create one more function like update all right so uh, with the update we can use the update with the two ways uh, one with the id so for a simple example like i want to insert that uh, update the uh, the deadpool name or the first entity on the first id behalf of this so it, after the update there is a deadpool should be should be deadpool here so just call the update function here mm, i'm going to remove uh, insert data i'm going to update here so now just refresh here oops let let me uh, check here what's going on so, uh, yes we don't need uh, we have to submit the function again i think so just log in here oops uh, must be type of array so let's check what's happen here uh we have to use like uh, this we have to use the scope resolution method with the find and now it will find uh, actually for the for about that uh find the id1 and insert the dead update the deadpool name on the with behalf of id so let's check oops there is some more issue Mm. all right we don't need the new because we are going to use the uh, scope resolution method that's why we don't need new so we got the updated here data so let's check is that yes we got deadpool here and now the update the second row with the uh, mm. Will Smith. All right. I don't know the name. How we have to write? Just that's that. Okay. Just write here. And let's check. We got the Will Smith on second position. All right. So now how we can update uh, on the behalf of the name or anything else because this is going to be half on the ID. So for that uh, i'm going to remove all these things and just write the variable insert you can echo it if you want and write here user where oops and where name is put the name of anyone like kelly the name is kelly and here we have to update it we have to update the password let's say we want to update the password it should be in the array and password password should be like my video that's it yes so let's check it once again we have a user table with the where condition and condition on the name where the name is the Kali and update it with the array of uh, password and here password should be like my video so now just uh, here the password is John at the red so now so let's update it and let's check it here all right we got the password updated here so these are the basic operations and if you want to more uh, detailed information then you can write here orm in the uh, laravel that means object relational mapper and just see here you will see all these things here all the commands here you can see that php partition make 
users how we make users that and how we uh, set the alternative table if the word table and uh, uh, modal name is not mapped the timestamp is false here you can see that and and many things are here how we can insert like this and all these things you will find here and if you need in the more details uh, so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and you can find us on the facebook in the description link so don't forget to subscribe our channel if you are new here and please give the valuable comments for suggestions thanks guys thanks for watching this video again